Hiya. Hello. Today? Yes. yes. Lovely. So yeah, for now just parking over to your left hand side in the car park. Okay. Yeah. And then coming back here from 12 p.m. We'll go through everything with you from 12. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, so Alright, thank, thank you. Bye. So this is us arriving at Haven Holiday Park in Caister, which is situated in Norfolk. And it's just down the coast from Great Yarmouth. We're here for Sarah's birthday weekend. Okay, so here's the map of the park. We're staying in a standard caravan, which is in the orange section, right the other side of the park. Cost us £145, uh, Friday to the Monday. Right, this is us entering the caravan for the first time. The blue label on the door is just to say that it's been cleaned and it's not been opened by anybody else. Let's take a look inside. Wow. It's uh, Beijou, I would say. Or Bouge, whatever the word is. So, got a TV on the wall. Little seating area. With a table, a little lounge area Sarah's gonna blow us up Oh <laughs> This is the uh, obviously the bathroom Got a shower unit here Start with the kitchen area. I'm not sure about the gas pop. Yeah. This one definitely doesn't. Just because it's not on properly. So let's have a look at the uh, the bedrooms. So this is obviously the master bedroom. And this is just a standard caravan. And this is the bedroom. We'll probably put our clothes and our suitcases in. Standard layout bed, uh, caravan for standard caravan. This is yeah, and that's our caravan. And I would say, just looking at it, and I don't know about you, Sarah, but it is pretty clean. It is pretty clean. Cupboards. Let's have a look at the fridge. Let's see how clean the fridge. Oh, it's a fridge freezer, which is nice and cold. Yeah, I would say it's uh, it is clean, guys. I must admit, it is clean. Oh, I don't know about there though. That's an easy bit. Right, so we're gonna have a little walk now, just to show you some of the appearances. This is the uh, activity hub where you can go and book all your activities. Uh, it's quite nicely laid out. I would say the site is very big. Uh, it's taken us about five minutes just to walk to this area here. As you can see here, we've got all the kids' activities. So you've got this like start of high wire walk where you can walk high, and then we've got obviously the trampolines and the, you know all the different things for the kids to do: football, basketball pitch. And then just as we get up here a little bit further, there's an outdoor stage. We're going to have a live entertainment here. You can see one of the people singing. Okay, so this is the mash and barrel. It's the on-site pub restaurant. It's not that bad, the food's mediocre. Uh, prices are not too bad. They've got screens where you can watch football, so they put the football on and everything. 
This is a nice place to meet up. Right, so nestled between the uh, Masham Bar and the entertainment venue is the arcade, and as you can see, I love the arcades. Uh, it's not bad, it's more geared for the kids, there's a little bit there for the adults. Over there you can see there's the uh, bit that I'm just going to look at now, where you have the, what I call high roller, where you can play and earn bigger money. It's for the adults, not the kids. Yes, a nice little setup. They've also got Papa John's in here and uh, the fish and chip shop around the corner where you just see where we bought the fish and chips from. Okay, so this is the swimming pool. You can book slots to go and swim. Uh, they are 60 minutes at a time. I will say when we arrived at the swimming pool for our allotted time, the doors were actually locked. We waited 10 minutes for someone to turn up. When we questioned this, they turn around and said that they lock it up when there's no one in. To me, it sounds a bit crazy. There was only a handful of people in when we was in there swimming. It just seems crazy that you have to book a slot to go swimming when they could just have it open all day long and people could come and go as they please. Um, it does seem crazy to me. So you join us. It's Saturday morning now. We've just had a lovely full English breakfast, which I cooked in the Ninja. Yes, I did take that with me. Uh, if you want to see the full video of me cooking that, then head over to our channel and check it out. Uh, we thought we'd take a little walk over to see the sea and the beach, as the caravan park is located right on the seafront. Oh, like uh, so come along and see us have a little brisk walk. It was very windy and very invigorating. It was a lovely start to the Saturday morning. Okay, so uh, just located about a mile outside from where the campsite is in Caister is this place called the Smokehouse and uh, it has a very good reputation. Uh, Sarah loves anything smoked, ribs, uh, wings, so we thought it'd be nice to come in and have a look. The place itself is set up really good. It, the, the memorabilia that's all on the wall, as you can see, is brilliant. The, the decor is great. Uh, they play obviously uh, American music. They got all old American cars outside. We'll try and pan over. You can pause this and look at the menu if you want. Uh, it has got a lovely wide selection of food here. Um, and steaks and 
ribs and they make all their own, they do all their own smoking, they make their, all their own rubs for the ribs and everything. Um, I had the burger, as you can see, burger, fries and slaw. Sarah's got the ribs. Uh, we'll say it was nice. I mean, it wasn't amazing. Um, the chips weren't too bad. Uh, Sarah's ribs said she said they were okay, uh, but you really couldn't tell the smokiness of it. But um, it is a great place. It wasn't badly priced. Uh, we probably won't go back there though. So it's Sunday, and today is Sarah's birthday. That's the whole point of us coming to the caravan to celebrate her birthday. So I took Sarah out for a birthday lunch. We came here to the Pheasant Hotel. It was just the other side of Holt. Uh, it's very nice. As I said, Sarah likes a roast dinner, so that's why I chose this place, and because of the setting. I wanted something a bit more upmarket than just an ordinary pub. You can see the menu here, it's quite a la carte and uh, it's all cooked fresh to order. I started with the soup, uh, tomato and basil. And Sarah had the smoked mackerel pate. Uh, my main course was roast beef and all the trimmings. And Sarah's main course was roast pork with all the trimmings. And we had the accompaniment of cauliflower cheese and broccoli. And for pudding, I had a poached pear. So if you ever want to celebrate someone's birthday and you want somewhere to go in Norfolk, I do recommend the Pheasant Hotel. So after visiting the Pheasant Hotel for lunch, we decided to stop off here at Sheringham on our way back to the caravan. And it's a lovely little village right on the coast and it's got a lot to offer. It is absolutely uh, breathtaking in some parts of it. Uh, we had a nice little walk around. As you can see, there's a lot of B&B places here that you can rent. Yeah. See, we're just walking into the high street. It was very nice, the high street. Had a lot of quirky little shops, uh, a couple of little pubs. Yeah, it was uh, very nice. I do recommend it. Uh, you know, if you come in Cromer Way, it's just the other side of Cromer. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. So Sheringham have a steam railway, um, we are going to take a ride on it but we will be doing a separate video. So if you like and subscribe you'll be able to see this video. Finally, we thought we'd come into Cromer and take a little walk on their famous pier and have an ice cream as the weather was gorgeous. Uh, just ended the weekend lovely. Well, hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, please like and subscribe. And we will see you again very soon. Bye guys.